Hey guys, Llama Mata here with another video. This one is going to be a short review of the Havoc Vertical Mouse. So I've, I've had this guy for almost a month now and I have to say, I freaking love vertical mice so much now. So I've been going to school and I've actually been using this as my school mouse and the amount of comfort that it gives is so much better than a regular mouse. I paid $15 for this on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description just so you guys can see. And so it's a very simple mouse. It's just, you know, a DPI button, your left, right click, your mouse wheel and mouse click and two thumb buttons. Uh, you got a little RGB strip here that shows that it turns on and I think battery low, but I haven't actually had to change the battery in like three weeks of use. Oh yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna tag this into the video yet, so Y'all will see this at some point in the video, I don't know. Uh, I was gonna talk about the, I completely forgot to talk about the weight. The weight, this thing's light, like super, super light. I think it's like five ounces maybe. It's half the weight of my 602. But, so the, the light feel actually helps a lot because the build quality, it's really good actually, but it's kind of a cheaper plastic and it doesn't have, like my Geo 2, 602, sorry, has like a matte material that grips Shut up, computer. Let me turn the mouse off. <laughs> That'd probably be better. Uh, it has like a material that grips. This is all just pure slip plastic. So it's very easy just to have it slide out of your hand, but with the light nature of it, it does not slide out. So it's really easy when you're having to pick up and move that you're not just gonna drop it out of your hand. Because I, I will say I did that a couple times before, but once I started getting used to it, it felt a lot more natural, and a lot easier to hold. So I, I thought I'd go ahead and mention the weight because it is super light. A lot of people are used to heavier mice. It takes just two little AAA batteries. Let me get the guy right here. It takes two AAA batteries. You got a little storage for the dongle. I don't actually put it in there. I leave it in my laptop because it's a pain in the butt because when you get in there, you have to take the batteries out to get the dongle back out. So that's, that's kind of annoying, but just a small flaw, can't complain for $15. Uh, I don't know what sensor it has on it. Uh, if I find that out, I'll put it on the video. Uh, you got your on off, you got four, four pads for sliding. I don't know how long those will last. They're lasting pretty okay for now. Uh, the clicks feel really good. They don't feel like they're gonna wear out too bad. Uh, the scroll wheel's okay, it's, it's not the best, but I'm also used to my, uh, sorry I bumped it again or I bumped it. Uh, it's not as good as, you know, my G40602 or my G700S, but much bigger price range on those two. And I turned my PC on. Uh, you got, you know, forward and back. These are non-programmable, kind of sucks, but you get what you get for 15 bucks. Overall, I'm really happy with the way this mouse sits and using it. It is good for any surface. I haven't found a surface it hasn't worked on yet. Uh, it's a very simple mouse gets the get work gets work done so overall happy for 15 bucks can't complain highly would recommend this if you're looking into a vertical mouse to get just to start off so overall thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video